Hi, Miss Rizzo. Uh. It's my turn to cook tonight. Wait till you see it. You look tired. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, might as well. These your shoes? Yeah, why? Well, I was just curious. Uh, thought maybe mine had shrunk. See, these are where mine usually are. I'm sorry. I put yours in your room. Thought they'd be easier to find. Something else I can't find around here lately. What? My apartment. What'd you do with it? I don't recognize anything in here. I can't find anything. Hey, where's my stuff, huh? It's all here. I just put it away. I know you've been busy and too tired to even think about it. Look, Ernie, I've lived here for 10 years. I finally got everything just the way I liked it. I could find things. I don't like things all changed around like this. I'm sorry. Put everything back. Oh, never mind. You always going to be like this? I don't know how else to be. Me neither. Mr. Rizzo, where I come from, people have very few things. So they cared for what they did have. Yeah, well, where I come from, the idea is to get as much stuff as possible, use it up, and then leave it laying around. <sighs> Ernie, we got a problem here. It's not you, it's me. I got shot at today. And a lot of things came into focus. You know, who I am, where I came from, who you are, where you came from, what your needs are, what you deserve. I'm not sure I can give it to you. Grandfather thought you could give it to me. Well, maybe he was wrong. I mean, how can I get close to you? I mean, I come home from work some night. Mm. What does this mean? Uh, we'll find Ernie. Don't worry. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, listen to this. You're the rock and I am the river. You must stay and I must flow. What does that mean? You know, he couldn't leave me a normal note. It says, that, you know, I hate your guts. Goodbye. He's got to leave me a fortune cookie. I'm glad you're here. Huh? Oh, is something wrong? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Why would anything be wrong? Listen, uh, I just need your help with a little problem. Something's happened to Ernie. No, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, actually, uh, there's nothing really to be worried about. It's just uh, probably uh, he's, uh, um, he's gone. What? Look, don't get excited. I've already done that. He ran away from home? Uh, it looks that way, yeah. You know, the rock and I have really nice day and I'm so... Did you have an argument? What did you do to the boy? I didn't do anything to him. I just uh, I said some things and he took them the wrong way, I suppose. And look, for 10 years I've been, I've been kicking in doors and dodging bullets. It naturally leads to a sort of bluntness in my manner. I mean, the kid's got to learn that he's living with a cop. You've got to learn you're living with a kid. You can't just throw him to the floor and frisk him every time he's, something goes wrong. But you've got to realize that I'm new at this. You know, Ernie's been a kid all his life. I've been a, I've been a father for a couple hours. So you're really worried, huh? Ah, worried? Why should I be worried? I mean, he can take care of himself and a lot of other people at the same time. I'm worried. <laughs> Just uh, curious, that's all. 
You know, I'm not going out of my mind or anything. Lizzo. Yeah. We got a possible on your missing kid over on Montgomery, and we put your APB on the state wire, and we're doing a door-to-door -door on the west side. Oh. And uh, the FBI wants a recent photo. Thank you. You tried milk cartons? Okay, I'm worried. No need. He's at my place. What? Why didn't you say so? Hey, you're the wrong. Don't you the blow. You put me through all that stuff you could have told me up front. Try it again. Is that how they were? Yeah, it's not even close. There's more than this. There. Can you live with that? I don't know. Well, could you stand it if they were all on the table? Yeah, I guess I could. See? We're making progress. A compromise. Mm -hmm. You just have to make allowances for the fact that Ernie was raised in a different culture. Hmm. Sometimes I think he was raised on a different planet. At least it was a clean planet. Hey. People seem to think they can solve all their problems with big statements like love conquers all and that the little things take care of themselves. Well, they don't. In fact, if you work on the little things, usually the big things take care of themselves. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Worth. It's a living. Mrs. Blake, uh, I don't think I'm going to be needing this key anymore to your apartment. Well, Ernie, let's not be hasty. After all, you never know when you're going to need a place to run to on a cold, stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice try. <laughs> Mr. Rizzo? Yeah? I'm sorry I left home last night. I couldn't think of anything else to do. Oh, that's all right. The uh, important thing is you're back. Well, last night you said you might not come home some night. That's true for everybody, not just the policeman. If you like somebody, you have to take the risk sometimes. Is that what Salvasan said? No, that's what I say. Come over here. 